Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video we're talking about the history of the Brazil men's national soccer team. Pull up a seat and let's start the discussion. Brazil is a country with a population of about 211 million people. The country takes up most of the central and eastern part of the continent of South America. Brazil's National Soccer Federation is a member of CONMEBOL, which is the South American Confederation in FIFA. Brazil doesn't have a home stadium and plays its home national team matches spread throughout the country. The Brazilian Sports Federation was founded in 1914 and changed its name to the Confederação Brasileira de Deportos, which was abbreviated as CBD, in 1916. This federation was an organization that also included many other Olympic sports and operated under this model until September 24, 1979. On that date, the soccer organization split from the CBD and formed the Confederação Brasileira de Futebol, or CBF. The reason for the split was that FIFA declared all national soccer governing bodies had to focus solely on soccer. The Brazilian national team has many nicknames. Canarinho means little canary in Portuguese, and that comes from the kit color of canary yellow that the Brazilian team is most well known for. Seleção means the team or the selection in Portuguese, and that's a pretty simple and straightforward nickname. Verda Amarela means green and yellow in Portuguese, and that comes from the team's kit colors as well as the country's national flag. Penta Campeones means the five-time champions, and that comes from Brazil having five World Cup titles. And finally, Os Tupis means the Tupis, which was a Brazilian indigenous group that lived in Brazil long before European colonization. Now let's talk about the Federation's crest. The five stars above the crest represent the five men's World Cups Brazil has won in its history. The CBF stands for the Federation's official name in Portuguese. And the yellow, green, and blue colors come from Brazil's national flag. If you have any more details or thoughts about the shapes and lines used in the crest, please let us know in the comment section. I'd love to hear them as we weren't able to find more details about them in our research. Including the 2018 World Cup, Brazil have participated in 21 World Cup Finals tournaments. They are five-time world champions, 1958, 1962, 1970, 1994, and 2002. They have the most World Cup titles of any country in the world. From a continental competition perspective, Brazil has participated in 35 Copa Americas, and they have won the Copa America title on eight occasions, the first one coming in 1919, and the most recent one coming in 2007. Brazil qualified for the 2018 World Cup by winning South American World Cup qualification ahead of all of the other South American countries. They have been placed in Group E for the 2018 World Cup group stage. Brazil is one of the best countries at producing world-class players, so we could have an entire 20-minute video dedicated solely to the talented players that the country has produced over the years, but we're not going to do that to you, at least not right now. So instead, I'd like to highlight four of the best players in Brazil's history. Garrincha was born in 1933, and most people consider him to be the greatest dribbler of all time. He won two World Cups with Brazil, one in 1958 and one in 1962. He was named Player of the Tournament in 1962. His unpredictability with the ball made him a nightmare for defenders to deal with. The next player I'd like to talk about was a teammate of Garincha's for many years and is widely considered the greatest player of all time, Pele. Pele was the most complete player ever to play the game. He could beat people one-on-one, -on -one. he was a great passer, he had a wicked shot, he was good in the air, and he was one of the greatest goal scorers ever. At 17 years old, he scored six times at the 1958 World Cup. He would win three World Cups with Brazil and is the country's all-time leading goal scorer with 77 goals in only 92 appearances. Brazil never lost a match when both Garincha and Pele were on the field together. The next player I'd like to discuss is Zico. He was an outstanding attacking midfielder who was one of the greatest passers and free kick takers ever. While he didn't win any major titles with Brazil, he was named World Player of the Year in 1983, and many people consider him to be the second greatest Brazilian player ever. And the last player I'd like to mention here is Ronaldo. He was a striker unlike any really seen before. His pace, power, and technique were incredible to watch. 
At 21 years old, he entered the 1998 World Cup, having already scored 200 professional goals, already won the 1994 World Cup, and already was twice named World Player of the Year. Injuries plagued him for many years, and he didn't quite live up to his immense potential, but he still did enough to be considered one of the top five Brazilians of all time. In addition, he was the best striker of his generation. He also held the career record of 15 goals at a World Cup tournament until Miroslav Klose recently broke it at the 2014 World Cup. And a couple players to look out for on the 2018 World Cup squad are Neymar and Paulinho. Neymar is going to be Brazil's star player at this World Cup. He plays as an attacker for Paris Saint-Germain in France. He's widely considered a top five player in the world right now and is supremely gifted at dribbling as well as ball control. He's rather slight of frame, but he can dominate matches with his pace, touch, and ball skills. And a breakout player is going to be Paulinho at this World Cup. It's odd to list him as a breakout player considering he's 30 years old and plays for FC Barcelona in Spain, but we're going to list him as a breakout player. Keep an eye on him. He plays in the midfield, and he's a great role player. And in a team like Brazil that has incredibly gifted and talented individual players, role players are even more important. Brazil has four main international rivals, Argentina, Uruguay, Italy, and Germany. Brazil's biggest rival is unquestionably Argentina. These two bordering countries are consistently regarded as being among the top five national teams in the world. They've met in meaningful and controversial matches over the years. The rivalry is also helped by the debate between Pele and Diego Maradona as the best players ever, and Messi has recently added his name to that discussion. The passion of South Americans who treat soccer as a religion has made matches between these two countries absolutely must-watch TV. Brazil's other main rival in South America is Uruguay. Uruguay won the 1950 World Cup hosted in Brazil, with the Uruguayans beating Brazil 2-1 in what came to be the final of that World Cup in front of 200,000 people at the Maracanã. It's a painful memory for Brazilian fans that still helps fuel this rivalry. The two sides have met in many meaningful matches over the years, mainly at Copa Americas, but this rivalry isn't quite as heated as the Argentina rivalry. The rivalry with Italy is known as the Derby of the World, as these two countries are two of the most successful in World Cup history. Brazil's free-flowing and attacking style contrasts greatly with Italy's historically defensive style. That makes for an interesting chess match anytime these two sides meet. And finally, Brazil's rivalry with Germany comes from both countries being two of the most successful national teams in history. Brazil has five World Cup titles, while Germany has four. The two sides continually battle for the title of best team in the world. And I'm really sorry to any Brazilian fans watching right now, but Germany thrashed Brazil 7-1 on Brazilian soil in the 2014 World Cup semifinals on the way to Germany winning that tournament. That is not going to be forgotten by Brazilian fans anytime soon. Redemption and revenge are great ingredients for a rivalry, which helps this as well. The country's record appearance holder is Cafu with 142 caps. Pele is the country's all-time record goal scorer with 77 goals. And one last interesting fact for you about Brazil, Brazil are the only country to have participated in all 21 World Cup Finals tournaments, including the 2018 World Cup in history. So there you have it, a bit of history on the Brazil men's national soccer team. If you have anything else to add to the discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!